Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we're joined by Marcus Patterson, who is the head of sales for APAC at Storyblock. Storyblock's mission is to deliver the best content management system that validates and prioritizes content management innovations and enables teams to deliver their content in a fast and reliable way while building the remote company. Marcus joins us today to tell us more about Storyblock and what they're doing in the future of CMS. Thank you for coming along, Marcus, and welcome to the jam. Pleasure. Thank you. You're very welcome. Well, let's just jump straight into it. For a business that hasn't worked with Storyblock before, what are your key products and offerings? Storyblock is what we would call a pure play CMS provider, a SaaS provider. We're global, so CMS as in content management systems. Think uh, WordPress, Sitecore, Adobe, Drupal, those kinds of products. But uh, essentially the, the new generation of content management. Well, now, what are the benefits of going headless? Yeah, so headless is just a term um, that enables an organization to uh, build a MarTech digital stack using best of breed capabilities. So think um, best of breed content management system like Storyblock at the core for creating, uh, managing and publishing content, but then being able through simple API to connect to best of breed e-commerce tools like Shopify, et cetera, uh, commerce tools, big commerce, being able to integrate to translation, personalization, SEO, search capabilities like Algolia um, in a very simple, easy way and enable you to tell your digital story to your consumers in a way that represents your brand. You don't have to any longer look the same as everybody else in your competitor stack. Well, now, what are some innovative ways that your customers are using Storyblock? I would encourage anybody to go to storyblock.com backslash case studies, and you'll see a huge range of really innovative uses of core content management. And I can give you a few examples. So Sydney FC in Australia, very timely with the Women's World Cup, relaunched their membership website to, to launch their new stadium earlier this year. Uh, did it in double quick time. They were amazed at how quickly they were able to build their new site. And most importantly for them, it drove membership uplift and membership engagement. And those were the two key metrics that they wanted. Uh, and it's a really immersive experience for members. You're welcome to go and have a look. That's at one end. Vicinity Centres in Australia runs large shopping centres. They use it for smart screens to help customers navigate through their shopping centres. Tesla in Germany has a kiosk now where uh, customers can configure their Tesla car on a smart screen. Um, Caro, in terms of scale, a large South American telco provider, 70 million customers. These are just some of the... Um, illustrations of the breadth and innovation that customers can create using Storyblock. I guess my own sort of question here, does Storyblock utilize artificial intelligence at all? We don't directly in our product, but increasingly AI is being used as an add-on to our product and many of our partners have built AI tools and it's really cool what's happening in that space, right? Being able to automate content generation for internal approval, uh, being able to insert things like digital images that are created using AI on the fly as you're building your content. So we're just starting on the AI journey, right, globally. Uh, but there's no doubt we'll see much, much more use of AI in CMS going forward. Good to hear. Uh, well, what sets Storyblock apart from its competitors and makes it an attractive choice for enterprises? Yes, yeah, so, so as, as I mentioned, Storyblock can uh, suit organizations from very small to incredibly large. So it's very scalable. That's the first thing. The key differentiator for us, uh, there's probably two that I'd like to call out. One is our visual editor. So the traditional model of building websites was that you went into the back end and you could fill out a form or you um, built some code and then you published it and you hoped that the published code looked like the website experience that you wanted to create. If it wasn't, you then had to go back in and correct it. Our visual editor is real time. So content creators are able to see the changes they're making, the content they're creating, as it appears 
in reality on their website. That's the key benefit. Uh, predictable pricing is another one. Um, many of the traditional uh, website creation products uh, give you nasty surprises when you <laughs> click over uh, unexpected thr thresholds in terms of usage. Storyblock's very predictable pricing. So users, uh, spaces, and traffic are the three dimensions of our pricing that uh, organizations can typically manage and predict very well. But they're probably the key differentiators. Well, I guess why, in your opinion, is headless the future of CMS? Um, I think it comes down to this new pervasive trend towards composable web architectures that um, many of your viewers will have perhaps read about. But it's moving away from these monolithic um, enterprise systems that were average at best across a wide range of functions to a best of breed model where you can clip in and clip out new capabilities as they come to market. So you're always being innovative and progressive in your MarTech stack, and you're not locked in for a long time to a, what's what we would call a legacy architecture. This is a modern architecture. You put core content management at the, at the center of it because you need to be able to efficiently and effectively create your content and then add on the capabilities that you need to tell your digital stories the way you want to differentiate your brand to your customers. Well, I guess one last question from me. It's obviously as the head of sales for APAC, how is Storyblock doing in the region? Um, really exciting growth for us. Uh, I was the first, we're a startup, right? We're uh, moving on from startup and uh, starting to grow internationally very fast. I think we've now got something like 160,000 users in almost every country of the world. We're a globally remote company. So in uh, APAC, just the same as in Europe and the US, we have no offices. All our team members uh, work, work remotely. Uh, we've got Australian staff, Singapore staff, Vietnamese staff, uh, Thai, Taiwanese staff. Uh, and we're just loving getting out and telling the story block story to organizations in New Zealand and Australia, our T2 uh, tier one key markets, uh, and starting to grow really strongly and getting some um, really valuable logos under our belt. And uh, there's more to come. Exciting times ahead, I see. Uh, well, it has been a pleasure having you on the jam, Marcus, and learning more about Storyblock and what you guys are doing in the region. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from Storyblock very soon. Thanks very much, Tom.